649, time for the morning rush. Opposition to the governor's controversial temporary ban of carrying guns in public in Bernalillo County is continuing to grow. In a letter to the governor, the attorney general, Raul Torres, says he will not defend the order against the flurry of lawsuits being filed to block it. The AG is now asking for help on both sides of the political aisle to put together a different plan to tackle the gun crime issue. An Albuquerque woman could spend nearly two decades in prison for her role in a deadly child abuse case. Uh, Esparza was housing four-year-old James Dunkley and his mother, Krista Cruz, back in 2019. Her boyfriend, Zarek Marquez, eventually beat Dunkley to death at his home. Esparza is now facing up to 18 years in prison. Memorial services for former Governor Bill Richardson are set to begin today. He will lie in state in the Roundhouse Rotunda today from 11 to 4. This with the public invited to pay their respects. Bill Richardson was a longtime fixture in New Mexico politics and international diplomacy. Passed away on September 1st at his summer home in Massachusetts. He was 75 years old. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures are in the low 60s this morning. You'll want a rain jacket or umbrella. We could see some isolated storms this afternoon and evening. An Albuquerque man will be spending the next three years in prison after using his smoke shop as a front to traffic drugs. When police searched Gabriel Guevara's property, they, all, they found almost 36 pounds of marijuana, three grams of cocaine, and nearly $60,000 in cash. Guevara will also be required to pay a $10,000 fine and $1,000 in community restitution. A moose spotted around downtown Santa Fe has been safely relocated outside of the city. New Mexico Game and Fish says that they first got a report of the moose near downtown just after 8 yesterday morning. Officials were able to sedate the moose and then load it onto a trailer around 11. The moose has now been transported to a suitable habitat in northern New Mexico. City biologists are warning about an uptick in the local mosquito population. While the pesky insects have typically spawned around the Rio Grande, the city says they're now seeing them in the Northeast Heights. The Environmental Health Department is urging residents to remove any standing water on their property. Erica. Here's a look at our threat index. It is moderate today. We'll be seeing more scattered showers and thunderstorms and a chance for burn scar flash flooding up north. One Albuquerque school is hoping to help cool down the city with trees. Amy Beal High School teamed up with Cule Burke. That's with the goal of fighting change in earth temperatures by creating a native tree nursery. Sandra Mack, an earth and science, uh, earth and space science teacher, rather says that they are working on a proposal with the city to create a public food forest as a demonstration site. A new collaboration is taking shape in Santa Fe to provide free feminine products to those in need. Free Flow New Mexico is getting the products into the hands of women needing them the most by partnering with libraries in Santa Fe to feature the products in boxes called period pods. Their goal is to later expand the services to other cities in New Mexico through continued donations and grant money. House Republicans are launching an impeachment inquiry into President Biden, alleging a, quote, culture of corruption between the president and his son's business dealings. The political fight comes as the country faces a potential shutdown at the end of the month if Congress does not pass the legislation to keep the government funded. Erica. On traffic, the roads are looking clear, no accidents or slowdowns. And here's a look over the big eye. It's definitely a gloomy start to the day. A few people in Milwaukee may have some hefty debts to pay this week. If the Jets featuring former Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers lost, Jack's American Pub promised to pay customers tabs. The Jets ended up winning the game in an overtime thriller with a walk-off punt return touchdown. A 